Forget Buckingham Palace's regal gleam and Big Ben's majestic gong for a moment. Imagine London, 1672, amidst whispers of restoration and the clinking of gold guineas. In a grand Georgian townhouse overlooking cobbled streets, history unfolds quietly. This isn't a tale of kings and knights, but of the birth of a financial colossus, C. Hoare and Company. This isn't just a bank. It's a story woven with the threads of British tradition, global whispers of scandal and crisis, and the unwavering heart of London's financial district. So, grab your scones and your British spirit, as we delve into the labyrinthine story of C. Hoare and Company, a tale of pound sterling, gilded scandals, and the enduring legacy of private banking. 1672, a seed planted in restoration soil. Unlike many young, tech-driven financial institutions, C. Hoare's origin lies in the hands of a single man, Sir Richard Hoare, a goldsmith and businessman with a vision. Facing the complexities of a fragmented English economy, limited access to capital, and the need for financial stability, he envisioned a private bank that would serve wealthy merchants, support trade, and guide London's economic development. This seed, planted in fertile soil of ambition and necessity, would blossom into a financial powerhouse, with a market capitalization of approximately £6.6 .6 billion, as of January 4, 2024. Architectural legacy, from Georgian elegance to glassy expansion, echoes of tradition and ambition. But C. Hoare's story isn't just numbers and dates. It's etched in the architectural landscapes of London. Its headquarters, the imposing, 37 Fleet Street, building, stands as a testament to its Georgian roots and unwavering presence in the heart of the city. Yet, its discrete branches nestled across the UK whisper of its deep connections to local communities, each with its own unique design and historical significance. From the elegant facades of its early branches to the contemporary glass and steel structures in emerging business districts, Seahor's architecture tells a tale of its evolution and its deep connection to the British tapestry. Founders and unsung heroes, beyond boardrooms and banking dynasties. While we remember historical figures like Henry, the Magnificent, Hoare and Benjamin Hoare as architects of C. Hoare's expansion, the heart of the bank truly beats with the contributions of countless unsung heroes. Tellers who served generations of families, stockbrokers who navigated turbulent financial landscapes, and security personnel who safeguarded the nation's wealth, their dedication forms the bedrock of C. Hoare's success. Their stories deserve to be told, echoing through the bank's halls and reminding us that the true strength of any institution lies in its people. Key Events Pivotal Moments in C. Hoare's Journey 1702, Knighthood and Lord Mayoralty. Richard Hoare is knighted by Queen Anne, solidifying his position as a respected figure in British society and further legitimizing C. Hoare's status as a leading financial institution. 18th Century, Clientele of Distinction. C. Hoare attracts a roster of illustrious clients, including Samuel Pepys, Jane Austen, and numerous members of the aristocracy, cementing its reputation as a bank for the elite. 2008. Global financial crisis and resilient performance. Despite the challenges of the financial crisis, C. Hoare demonstrates its conservative approach and strong risk management, navigating the turmoil without significant losses. Scandals. Shadows cast on Georgian grandeur. The Bearings Fraud, in 1995, C. Hoare was implicated in the Bearings Fraud a major trading scandal that nearly brought down the bank. The incident led to significant reforms in its risk management practices. Concerns over family control. As a private bank with majority ownership by the Hoare family, some have raised concerns about potential conflicts of interest and the lack of transparency in decision-making. Current status. Balancing tradition with global aspirations. Today, C. Hoare stands at a crossroads. While it remains a leading private bank in the UK, challenges abound. Maintaining its strong financial performance amidst global economic uncertainties, adapting to rapid technological advancements, and expanding its market share through strategic partnerships are just a few of the hurdles it faces. Additionally, its reliance on the UK economy exposes it to potential economic fluctuations and political turbulence. Key people at the helm, charting the course. Hatim Mohammed Salem, Chief Executive Officer, responsible for setting the bank's strategic direction and overseeing its overall operations. Charles Hoare, chairman of the board, representing the twelfth generation of the Hoare family and ensuring continuity with its traditions. James Fleming, chief financial officer, driving financial stability and optimizing the bank's performance. Value in billions dollar, measuring C. Hoare's strength. With a market capitalization of approximately 6.6 .6 billion pounds, as of January 4, 2024, 
Sehor ranks comfortably as one of the leading private banks in the UK. While it pales in comparison to global giants like JP Morgan Chase or Citigroup, it holds a prestigious position within the European private banking scene, showcasing its influence and importance within the regional market. Global Comparisons Weighing Sehor on the World Stage To gain perspective, comparing Sehor to other European and global private banks like Julius Baer or UBP offers valuable insights. Each institution grapples with unique client profiles, regulatory environments, and investment strategies. Examining these comparisons helps us understand Sehor's position within the broader private banking landscape and the challenges it faces as a leading bank in a globalized world. What's the future? Whispers carried on the River Thames. Predicting Sehor's future is as much about deciphering the echoes of its past as analyzing economic data. The success of its digital transformation plans, its ability to diversify its client base and revenue streams, and its commitment to transparency and ethical conduct will all play a crucial role in shaping its destiny. Whether Sehor reclaims its crown as a symbol of British financial stability or fades into the background of post-scandal whispers remains to be seen. Beyond numbers, social impact and technological innovation, the story of Sehor transcends the cold calculations of interest rates and investment returns. It carries a legacy of social impact, deeply woven into its mission to support entrepreneurs, promote financial literacy among young people, and contribute to cultural heritage preservation. Exploring its initiatives in providing funding to small businesses, investing in educational programs, and sponsoring art exhibitions sparks discussions about the role of private banks in fostering social inclusion and promoting sustainable development. Technological innovation is another crucial thread in Sehor's tapestry. Delving into its efforts to embrace blockchain technology for secure transactions, artificial intelligence in portfolio management, and digital wealth management solutions helps us understand how it navigates the challenges and opportunities presented by the digital revolution. Ensuring financial security and accessibility through innovative solutions will be key to Sehor's future success in a tech-driven world. Sustainability and Ethics Weaving Responsibility into the Narrative In today's world, Sustainability and ethical conduct are non-negotiables for any institution. Analyzing Sehor's environmental and social governance practices, like its approach to green financing, climate risk management, and responsible investment, contributes to broader discussions about sustainable development and corporate responsibility. By demonstrating a commitment to environmental and social responsibility, Sehor can gain a competitive edge and build trust with a generation of environmentally conscious investors and clients. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, sharing it with others, and subscribing to our channel for more interesting material. In the comments area below, we'd love to hear your views and opinions on this topic. Thank you for your support, and we hope to bring you more intriguing stories and puzzles from around the world in the future. Remember to stay informed, interested, and safe.